My name is Sarah Fender, and I lead product management for Microsoft Sentinel, our cloud-native SIM. In this session, we'll focus on the unique combination of SIM and XDR, which empowers Microsoft customers to improve threat detection and response. I'll spend a few minutes on Microsoft's threat protection strategy, but what I'm most excited to share is the lineup of product innovations we're announcing at Microsoft Ignite, which spans Sentinel, Defender for Cloud, and Microsoft 365 Defender. There's a lot to cover, so I'll just jump right in. Over the last two years, we've seen a phenomenal change in the way we work. We're all at home using the same networks to access corporate resources that our kids are using to do their schoolwork or play Xbox. We're working from more devices, from more places than ever before, and that creates a major headache for security teams. Some of these numbers are pre-pandemic, but it's important to note that these trends were evident well before the world forced these changes, and they're even more critical now. Security professionals are simply overwhelmed with alert and signal data. Attacks are increasing in both volume and complexity, and the number of tools and vendors that security operations teams use make it difficult to look at prevention, breach, and response in a holistic manner. Now let's take a look at how Microsoft is tackling some of these challenges. We've been on this journey too, evolving the security solutions we offer to tackle a changing world and to protect against advanced attacks. It began with simple worms and antivirus products within Windows, and over time, that portfolio grew and organizations went digital. We're all moving to the cloud and have more assets than ever that need to be protected. Devices, emails, storage, VMs. And so we've added capabilities across Azure, Office 365, and cloud applications. With the rise of advanced attacks like phishing and malware, we expanded our mission to protect your entire organization. To do that, we launched our cloud-native SIM, Microsoft Sentinel, to provide end-to-end -end visibility for all your data across your entire organization. And we've brought our multi-platform, multi-cloud threat protection capabilities together across our XDR solutions, Microsoft 365 Defender, and Microsoft Defender for Cloud. And we're very proud that analysts like Forrester have recognized our leadership across both SIM and XDR. Microsoft Sentinel is a leader in the Forrester wave for security analytic platform providers covering SIM tools. And Microsoft just achieved leader status in the Forrester new wave for extended detection and response, or XDR providers. Within XDR, Microsoft excels in providing best-in-class products and solutions across pillars from endpoint, email, cloud applications, and more. But we aren't taking our leadership position for granted. We continue to rapidly innovate to help our customers increase the efficiency and the effectiveness of their security operations. And as I mentioned, that includes new capabilities that are rolling out this week. For Microsoft Sentinel, that means advancements in ML that span UEBA, Fusion, and built-in Azure Synapse for big data analytics, making it easier for customers to detect known and emerging threats. A revamped content hub with nearly 100 out-of-the-box solutions help customers rapidly discover and deploy new use cases and data sources. And ever focused on helping customers improve the efficiency of their SOC, new features will reduce detection latency, improve detection quality, streamline management, and automatically enrich data with threat intelligence. Microsoft 365 Defender is announcing enhanced protection with Microsoft Defender for IoT, and Microsoft Defender for Cloud is doubling down on mon monitoring for multi-cloud environments by adding native support for AWS. Let's start with Microsoft Sentinel, which offers a new, modern approach to SIM, entirely cloud-native and powered by AI and automation to help optimize security operations. Microsoft Sentinel's cloud-native nature empowers you with the scale, flexibility, and speed of the cloud while eliminating the time and money spent on managing infrastructure. It detects complex, evolving threats across massive volumes of low-fidelity signals using built-in machine learning developed by Microsoft security experts and tuned to your environment. It gives you everything you need to expedite incident response, streamlining investigations with robust incidents, and equipping you with built-in automation. And finally, with these efficiency gains, Microsoft Sentinel gives you the uh, ability to finally be proactive about finding and stopping threats. 
It provides threat hunting tools to help you get and stay ahead of attackers. Let's take it a step deeper and look at what lies under the hood. Azure Sentinel delivers end-to-end -end solution for your security operations. This starts with collecting all of your security data and providing you with instant insights into that data via workbooks and queries. You can begin applying analytics to that data, including built-in UEBA, to find real threats from this massive sea of data. You can hunt through all your data using built-in hunting queries, use bookmarks and live stream tools to track notable events and monitor new activities. You can manage and investigate incidents using graphs and timeline views and automate investigation with remediation playbooks. All of this is powered by a community of security analysts and backed by Microsoft security experts who leverage their vast experience defending Microsoft services to contribute analytics, queries, playbooks, and more. It all starts with visibility. And with Microsoft Sentinel, you can collect data from any source with more than 150 out-of-the-box integrations. No matter where this data is coming from, whether that be Azure, other security products and services, other clouds, on-prem, you can easily connect all of this security data. And you can do that using the Content Hub, so you can much more easily discover and deploy these additional data sources and use cases. We're also announcing new UEBA anomalies, which are trained using your data to reduce noise. UEBA can also be customized with rich contextual insights using new watch list templates. And you can investigate faster with expanded fusion, identifying unknowns, correlating existing alerts, and creating a prioritized set of incidents. We're also announcing a new set of capabilities that enable Azure Sentinel Notebooks integration with Azure Synapse Analytics, bringing powerful advanced analytics right into your Azure Sentinel environment. You can run notebooks on Azure Machine Learning or Azure Synapse to perform big data analytics at cloud scale. New capabilities designed to help you increase efficiency include the ability to reduce detection latency with near real-time analytic rules, to improve detection quality with tuning recommendations that are powered by AI, helping you to know which rules can be improved to reduce noise, and streamline management of analytic rules by connecting your Azure Central environment with your GitHub or DevOps environment where you're managing those rules. Also, new automation capabilities, including a new playbook template gallery and many, many out-of-the-box automation workflows make it easy for you to automate a range of security workflows from enrichment to incident response to remediation. And we're rolling out two new offers that make it easy to try and buy Azure Sentinel. The first is a free 31-day trial, enabling customers to ingest up to 10 gigabytes of data per day at no cost or you can add Microsoft Sentinel to your existing log analytics uh, workspace for free as well. And for our Microsoft 365 E5 customers, we're making permanent an offer that enables them to save up to $1,500 a month on a typical 3,500 seat deployment. We're very excited about how these new innovations can drive improvements for our customers. We love this quote from GE, where they talk about the benefits that analytics, playbooks, and workbooks have provided for their organization in terms of improving the security operations and incident response. Now let's take a look at a demo so we can see some of these new capabilities in action. In Microsoft Sentinel, you get a unified view of threats across your entire digital estate. More than 100 million events have been collected in the last 24 hours, covering a wide range of data sources and use cases. A new content hub makes it easy to unlock additional value built by Microsoft and its partners. In the content hub, formerly the Solutions Blade, you can discover and deploy close to 100 out-of-the-box solutions for Microsoft Sentinel, with more being added each month. Solutions can contain one or more data connectors, workbooks, analytics, hunting queries, playbooks, and parsers, so you can easily deploy a complete solution for a specific product, such as your firewall, or for a particular use case, like compliance monitoring. The revamped experience makes it easy to discover the solution that you're looking for. You can search and filter. In this case, we're gonna filter to look for uh, solutions related to threat intelligence. Now, earlier this year, Microsoft acquired RiskIQ, a leader in security and threat intelligence. 
The Risk IQ team recently updated their solution for Microsoft Sentinel to add support for additional threat intelligence playbooks, which automatically enrich incidents with threat intel from Risk IQ. All playbooks can be deployed in a single step and populated with your credentials, which saves significant time over configuring these parameters in each playbook. In the Content Hub, you can see what solutions are installed and those solutions that have updates available. As I mentioned, there are many new and updated solutions, but a few favorites that I'd like to highlight. The first is the updated security monitoring solution for SAP. There's also a new OT monitoring solution featuring workbooks and analytics for IoT and OT devices, and a deception solution that integrates insights from Honey tokens in Azure Key Vault. Now back to that Risk IQ solution. Now that we've installed that, you can have the Risk IQ playbooks automatically enrich incidents as they're created. So an analyst has all of the information instantly available to inform their investigation and response. Let's take a look at an example. Here's an incident that contains multiple alerts linked to the same cloud resource, this M-I-N-I-N-T resource here. If we click for more details, we can see that the incident contains multiple alerts. Uh, the first contains uh, two uh, communication to two suspect domain names and the second uh, alert to an IP address. The automation playbook has added insights for each of those. So your analyst has all of this information available uh, in the comments and can see, for example, that this IP address has a score of 100. This is the highest confidence and indicates a known malicious IP address. You can see in the details that uh, um, malware has been observed on this entity and also that the SSL search was self-signed, that many open ports and web components were observed served, all likely indicators of a nefarious IP. The domain names all, or domains also appear to be quite suspect, and, and you can see the details of those down below. You can run automation playbooks to take action uh, on this information. For example, we can run a playbook that will send this high confidence IP address to Azure Sentinel so that we can track activity related to the indicator. And you can also take action by blocking that IP address in your firewall. Now that new IP address has been added, as I mentioned, um, to our Azure, uh, to Microsoft Sentinel threat intelligence uh, view. So you can use this to, again, track activity related to the indicator. And you can also use out of the box analytic rules to create high severity incidents if new communication is detected to this IP address. One final thing to show you back in incidents is the Better Together integration with Microsoft Defender 365 and Microsoft Defender for Cloud, formerly Azure Defender. As you can see here, alerts and incidents for Microsoft Defender are streamed to Microsoft Sentinel, where they can be triaged, correlated, and enriched with other data sources. If you click on an alert, for example, let's take a look at this one related to an Azure resource. You can see that all of the details are um, already populated, including mapped entities such as this host. Now from here, you can click over uh, to Azure Defender. There's a link here at the top of the incident, or you can continue your investigation in Microsoft Sentinel. For example, clicking on the entity will load a page that contains additional details about the host, alerts, insights, and information from Defender about unaddressed recommendations. You can navigate directly to Defender to learn more about these security vulnerabilities. Now, once you're done investigating, you can close the incident in Defender or in Sentinel, and the status will be kept in sync across both systems. Now, there are many new innovations in the area of analytics, so let's go ahead and uh, pop over to take a look at those. First, I want to highlight new near real-time analytic rules, which offer improved detection speed. And I also wanted to highlight the additional uh, UEBA anomalies that have been added, which offer ML-powered detection using behavioral insights. But I want to go a bit deeper and talk about an important expansion of our Fusion Analytic, which enables support for anomalies as well as your alert rules. You can simply turn these new types on to begin using these capabilities. 
Now, anomalies in particular can be lower fidelity. Uh, they could be the result of benign changes in behavior. But by identifying related anomalies that align to kill chain patterns, they can be very effective inputs for detecting unknown and emerging threats. Now, this, the fusion system has, has proven to learn new patterns with very high accuracy. So these new attack scenarios or patterns are being automatically applied as they're detected, helping you to stay ahead of these emerging threats. In the event a benign pattern emerges, you can create an exclusion. We can see a few of them here toward the bottom uh, to eliminate any noisy incidents. Another important way that we're helping you reduce the volume of incidents is through ML-powered tuning recommendations. This light bulb here on this first analytic rule indicates that recommendations are available. And by clicking into the alert, you can see tuning insights here on the uh, kind of bottom right. In this case, uh, information about the rate of false positives, the entities associated with high false positives. You can see some test uh, machines and accounts here along with the most common entity surface and alerts. Now you can use these insights to modify your alert logic. We can modify the KQL here, for example, to exclude those test accounts. Now today, many customers are managing um, uh, analytic rules, uh, sort of like they manage other source code in a GitHub or an Azure DevOps repo. So now that we've made these changes in the UX, we can export them into uh, and add that file into our de uh, detection uh, repository. Now, some organizations and managed service providers operate multiple instances of Microsoft Sentinel, and they want to be able uh, to continuously deploy analytic rules and other types of content across these various workspaces. So a new Azure Sentinel as code experience here in the repositories blade enables organizations to manage content for one or more workspaces deployed from a content repository. It does so by automating the process of deploying the content and allowing users to manage it from a central repository, saving significant time and effort. So again, here in the repositories blade, we can see uh, and manage uh, our existing connections and add new ones. The side pane provides additional details about the connection, content type, in this case, analytic rules, other content types are supported, source control, GitHub in this case, description, repository. And it also contains a link to the deployment logs in the source control to help in the event that you need to do some troubleshooting. Now, one of the last and very cool new capabilities uh, that I want to highlight is the Notebooks integration with Azure Synapse Analytics. So today, Jupyter Notebooks and Azure Sentinel are integrated with, the Azure machine, with Azure Machine Learning. For users that wish to incorporate notebooks and popular open source machine learning toolkits and libraries, things like TensorFlow. The new Azure Synapse integration provides additional analytics horsepower for users that want to leverage big data processing and operationalize ML models with fully managed Apache Spark uh, compute pools for cloud scale distributed processing. So included is a Jupyter Notebook to see these big data analytics concepts in action using real world security use cases. The notebook demonstrates how to hunt for anomalous behavior, such as network beaconing patterns from very large data sets of network firewall logs. So to begin using uh, Synapse uh, as part of the notebook's experience, you'll first need to configure uh, a new Azure Synapse workspace, or, uh, and so we can do that here. So here you can select an existing Azure data lake with pre-configured data exported from a log analytics workspace or data integrated from other sources, or you can simply create a new one here if you don't have a data lake. Once we've done that, we can see the, uh, the Synapse templates uh, that are available out of the box. The, there's a notebook template that provides step-by-step -step and one-time configuration. Uh, this does the setup of the continuous data pipeline to the Azure Data Lake. It creates a link service between Azure Machine Learning and Azure Synapse and provisions a Spark pool that can be used for data configurations. We won't do that as part of this experience. Uh, as I said, it's a one-time configuration. Instead, I want us to take a look at uh, this guided hunting uh, notebook template uh, that's available. I've already cloned that, so we'll go ahead and, and just take a look at the, the notebook in action. 
So unsampled raw network connection logs have uh, you know, particularly high volume uh, and finding actionable events can be quite challenging due to just the, the sheer scale of the log entries. So leveraging Synapse Spark Compute and PySpark, we can identify malicious network beaconing pattern, traffic patterns using a series of advanced data transformations on, on this massive data set. So first we can start that um, uh, Synapse session. You know, the notebook provides a unified interface for leveraging both Azure Machine Learning Compute and Synapse Spark pools. You can kind of combine uh, those and leverage them for different purposes. That Spark pool uh, will provide in-memory computing, which is much faster than disk-based applications and, and lets you tap into this distributed processing model. You can use the Synapse Magic command uh, to submit smart, Spark jobs. You can do all of that without leaving the AML workspace, which is nice. Various complex data processing steps are included here. Things like per partitioning, uh, windowing, ranking large data sets that can be complied to compact these data sets to find various time delta patterns, which could be an indication of a network beaconing attack. Uh, attack. With Spark distributed processing power, such complex pre-processing and data wrangling steps can be performed with high efficiency, making it much easier to, to retrieve, easier and faster, I should say, to retrieve those results. In addition, the notebook includes examples of how you can automatically enrich tasks, such as IP address geolocation, threat intelligence matching, and visualizations using uh, Mystic uh, Pi visualization modules, such as a map, which we'll see here, um, which plots um, uh, the results uh, across the a, a geo, um, uh, geographic regions. This helps us to, to narrow down actionable results from these billions of records uh, and can be used to raise a custom incident in Microsoft Sentinel, or you can use Sentinel bookmarks to flag events for further investigation. Together, these new features that I've showcased can really help security operations teams expand their coverage to new use cases, detect emerging threats while also keeping down the noise and increasing the speed of response. In addition to these new capabilities for Azure Sentinel, we're also extending our native cloud security posture management and workload protection capabilities to Amazon Web Services. Within Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which was formerly known as Azure Security Center and Azure Defender. This now allows you to secure AWS and Azure environments from a single place with the same experience. It provides a seamless onboarding of AWS accounts that leverages an agentless design using native cloud APIs. It enables you to strengthen your secure configuration of AWS resources with out of the box recommendations using industry best practices and regulatory standards. Enhanced workload protection for Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service and all security recommendations will also be reflected in SecureScore for a holistic view of your multi-cloud security state. Recent ransomware attacks, like the ones that shut down a major gas pipeline and global food processor, highlight the challenge of securing IoT and operational technology or OT devices. These devices are often unpatched, misconfigured, and unmonitored, making them ideal access points for attackers looking to compromise organizations of all size. Today, we're announcing that Microsoft 365 Defender has been extended to give you visibility to enterprise IoT devices, things like conferencing systems, voice over IP phones, printers, and building automation systems. Asset discovery of these types of devices is often the first step in implementing strong network segmentation as part of a zero trust initiative. In addition, today we're announcing that Microsoft Defender for IoT, formerly Azure Defender for IoT, which is an agentless solution that already protects OT devices in critical industries, industries such as manufacturing, energy and water utilities, and oil and gas has been expanded to secure enterprise IoT devices as well. Microsoft Defender for IoT provides a unified experience for both IoT and OT security. And for customers using Defender for endpoints, they'll find the experiences rich with everything security practitioners need to perform incident response and vulnerability management across all of their enterprise IoT devices. I encourage you to learn more about all of these new innovations you can start with the trial of Microsoft Sentinel, which as I said, you can use free for 31 days. 
There's a ton of information on the cloud security news that we're announcing at Microsoft Ignite and much more online about our XDR technologies. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn more about Microsoft SIM and XDR.